Hi, I'm Mark Lowell and welcome to the Photographer Academy and today we've created a small set boudoir to give you a little bit of an inspiration of ideas. Uh, perhaps you're looking to add something different in or you're just stuck for a little bit of flow or this might even be uh, a kind of client who doesn't want to go laundry. In other words, it could be a teen girl and we're photographing her in a, a body or a, a kind of with her jeans on or whatever it be and things really. So it's just kind of really a true Instagrammy kind of feel of kind of styling a photograph, something that possibly they're going to be taking themselves, but let's do it in a professional way. So this isn't the whole shoot. This would be a part of a shoot that I'd be doing. Okay, so even though we've got some lighting going on around here, ignore it, because the only light really is going to be this. Ignore this bit of gel for now, okay, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be there, let's put that out of the shot. And it's going to be a little cheap um, LED kind of light source, okay. So most of the shoot though is all based around the Christmas tree lights. So these are just some lights that we usually have hanging downstairs in our academy gallery, just obviously the Christmas time and so on. We've taken them down specifically to actually do it. Um, and we're going to start off the shoot, in fact, with the white bedding. And then the second part of the shoot, we're going to add in the netting on top. But technically, uh, using uh, the likes of the Christmas tree lights as our only light source, uh, we're going to create some beautiful images. Now, we're using quite wide apertures and quite high ISOs to maximize the shutter speed because I'm an old guy <laughs> and basically I'm an unfit fat guy which means that I'm usually going to kind of tremble more. When you're a young 21 year old <laughs> kind of photographer and you're a slim and you're kind of running up and down you've got three kids uh, blah 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 then again you can hold a shutter speed a lot longer than I can today and things really. But once upon a time I used to be able to hold down to a, a half a second when I was basically my own tripod in its kind of stance and shape and so on. But in today's shoot, I'm going to be quite free and I need to shoot a minimum of a hundredth, if not a hundred and twenty-fifth a second to do the shot. The one thing you're going to see is a problem with white balance. Now, I usually shoot with flash balance. This is going to be technically more tungsten balance, but the different Christmas tree lights that you may have will give you a slightly different kind of color shift. So you've just got to be aware of that as well. And you really want to either use a pre preset uh, on the likes of Nikon cameras, you sh uh, press and hold the pre, you take the photograph on the likes of a gray card, it analyzes the color and it sets it as a new color balance. On the likes of the Canons, we need to take a photograph of the likes of a gray card, lit with the light source, and then we choose that as our kind of new color balance. It, it's very, very quick, quick to do, a little bit quicker on the Nikon, but you soon get used to doing that as far as the Canon. And we've got films to explain that on the Academy as well. So as far as the exposure, um, if we're using very high ISOs, we want to ensure that we, we kind of don't underexpose the image. The real problem we have with high ISOs is when you um, uh, make the image brighter in post-production. That is when we start to reveal the noise. As it is, if you have a almost perfect exposure in camera, when you get into the post-production, yes, there will be a little bit of noise, what we used to refer to as grain in ISO, um, but basically you'll have that little bit, but it's not going to be really that visible, especially when we start to add that extra bit of post-production in the softening and so on and so on. All right. So remember, all the light is here um, in our small boudoir set in Studio One here. We've created technically we've got a window light any time of the day, even though it's in front of a window and we've got a gridded light above. Please ignore these two light sources. They are not a part of this photograph at all. We've got our amazing kind of studio model that we use so, so much. Kelsey, she's brilliant. And we're going to be going through a kind of a, a simple kind of flow of posing as well, just to look for that amazing image. Remember, when you're trying out something new for the first time or you haven't done it in a very long time, you need to have a bit of fun with it. You need to have a little bit of play with it. But then stop, analyze the images and then go, OK, what else can I do with this? Don't be afraid, especially if you're getting going with boudoir or any type of photography and you've got a professional model on set, ask for their advice, ask for their help, ask for their ideas for pose and so on, because more often than not, they're going to actually help you transform what might be a basic image into a great image. Look, let's get in into the shoot. I hope you enjoy it and uh, have some fun with something that is just put away for one use a year. So kind of keep it out and use it in your everyday photography. Uh, you know, one of those grippy kind of fork litter pickers. 
<laughs> it's kind of the COVID-19 proper jester. Uh, shuffle down the bum down a little bit more, I think. A little bit more again. Is it warmer than the blow-up yeah. bed? Yeah. You wait till we get in the pond later on. Okay, just put, put your feet underneath some of it, I think, and put it on top of you. Uh, I definitely would be in a normal kind of year kind of adjusting this, or my assistant would be anyway. Um, yeah, pretty much. Let's go, uh, probably the butt's going to go down a little bit more. Just lay into it now. Let's have a little look, and we'll just kind of adjust. Can you throw some of those um, up onto the pillows? Even, can you see that big, big, big pillow you're just working with now? Move it over to that side a little bit more for me. That's it. Lower it down a touch more. Lay it flatter, in other words. There you go. And now stick the lights on top. So um, obviously we're not using flash, uh, we're just using um, the uh, light that is from the modeling bulbs and cells. I've used the gridded light and we've got no other lights going on in the studio, uh, the studio at all, just to illuminate me a little bit, otherwise it would kind of be a very dark room. Uh, we do have the window light, in other words, the highlight behind here, but it's not really doing anything at all, all right? So this is just the Christmas tree lights that we had down in, uh, get your butt down there, you. You moved yourself up then, you didn't even realise. Let's lean in. Uh, so we've just uh, um, taken the Christmas tree lights from downstairs, uh, pur purposely of course, uh, e even though this is kind of almost uh, 2022 now as it were, so in other words we're into January 21, but it feels that long already. Um, first, the first things first, no, no flash is going to go, okay, so uh, the, mod the modelling bulb isn't touching her at all. Let's look at the first shot. As far as the exposure is concerned, um, I'm Usually in, um, let me just do that again. See if it comes through, should come through to capture one. So um, a couple of little things really. Um, we're at uh, 1.8, which is really not a good kind of working aperture for me. I've got to keep to around about 125th of a second as a minimum. That's because of my age, my fitness, I'm too fat. And basically, I don't really want unsharp images. F1.8 is useless uh, for me as, as a rule. I usually want to work to as close to F4 as possible. But where is the point where we're pushing exposure to uh, and ISO to? Um, there's a kind of a, a misconception to think that ISO is all about noise. You only really see noise in high ISOs when you've underexposed an image and you're trying to make it brighter, that opens up the midpoint and basically you start to see it. An overexposed image by design is basically blowing out noise information anyway, so it's gone. So the first things to be, I want to kind of dial the shutter speed back a little bit. So uh, one, two, three, a uh, hundred of a second I can pretty much work to. Um, one, two, three. So I'm up to 2.5 without an adjustment on ISO. If I go ISO from 800 then, to uh, 1600, then I can actually gain that extra stop again. So uh, one, two, three, so I'm at 3.5. Uh, let's do the same shot and focus in on the left-hand side. And uh, basically, it should give us exactly the same exposure, which you can see it does, uh, except all I've got now is a bigger depth of field. So now I'm at 1600 ISO, I'm at 100 of a second, and basically it's 3.5. As Kelsey comes nearer to the light, we might need to adjust, adjust it. We could pretty much change the, the quality of the whole image by changing what is underneath her. Instead of, instead of it being white, it could be gold or red or whatever it is, and we'll get a completely more dynamic, different style of image. So the next thing, uh, the elephant in the room, that's not you, that's not me, that's the color balance, uh, is that's at tungsten, um, and it looks it from me there, as it were. Now, um, if, if you can, I do a pre kind of balance, or shoot a gray card, etc. Uh, as it is though, I'm naturally sat in, uh, set into uh, flash mode, pretty much on my color bands the whole time. Some of you will probably opt into the likes of auto white balance. Let's just shoot that shot again. And auto white balance, because we've got basically whites and greys and uh, flesh tone within the image, it's going to do a really good job. And, and I could settle into that without any trouble. Um, however, because I'm shooting a RAW file and a, J, a JPEG file, I want the JPEG file to be as near as I can to be 
uh, the perfect image before any kind of Photoshop manipulation. Otherwise, what's the point of shooting a, J a JPEG file if it's not per perfect? So for me, I want consistency of color balance. So I'm going to move this and test and test it. Just put it into the tungsten mode, which is obviously the little light bulb kind of thing. Okay, do the same shot. We're going to get very, very similar color tone. I'm expecting that anyway, which it is. But in fact, I think that is a little bit clean, uh, cleaner um, again. So we're pretty much there. Okay, um, how, how are we going to use... You use it. Uh, the first thing I think, if I'm going to shoot it in this way, uh, I need to actually really perfect the kind of the pose and the animation. Let's drop that knee down anyway. Can you bring some of those lights up on onto the body for me from the back as well? Bring it up onto your butt. Okay, let's kind of lean um, in in into this. I love love that. And just bring this hand down a little bit lower just to show that it's great shape of the bust in that pose as well. Let's have a quick look. Um, I'm obviously going to be photographing from different kind of camera positions, and that includes from above. Uh, but pretty much that's an e easy shoot. So imagine we've been doing a bit of a, a kind of a teen girl image. She might be in a body. She might be with jeans on or whatever it be. This is a natural thing that I could actually start to actually include into the shoot. It could also be a, a nice image for somebody who's perhaps had very severe surgery, needs a confidence builder, kind of perhaps they cannot reveal body for one reason or another. Scar, scarring and so on. So again, it's how are we kind of doing it? So the main thing is looking at how we're going to change it. Camera angle is going to be king as far as how it's going to look. Uh, notice how I've kind of just sat the pillows up just on the edge between the bed and the image. So I'm not going to get a gray horizon line. Um, if I just kind of move position and I start to actually include the gray horizon line, you can start to see that the kind of the image starts to kind of get distracted by the dark. I like one color palette of tone. So light clothing, light background, dark clothing, dark background, etc. Et Doesn't mean that this is wrong by any means, okay? It's just a matter of taste with it and things really. But it's from within here. How do we tame the pose or do we kind of, how do we kind of make that a little bit more erotic and things really? Uh, and I think it's just a bit of a rolling back and forth on the bed. It does hurt, doesn't it, when you lay on them or is it okay? That's the wrong thing to say to me, isn't it? If you, <laughs> it's not too uncomfortable, that means I'll leave, I'll leave it there for a while. Um, okay, let's, let's get on and do some shots anyway. Okay, so let's kind of do it first. Let's um, roll onto your uh, front just a little bit. And there you go. That's good. Uh, let's kind of bring this hand just towards the neckline a little bit more. That's gorgeous there. Lowering the chin down a little bit more. Okay, let's lean into the pillow. So just roll away from me just a little bit. Eyes close me again. Okay, so say from the same thing, I can shoot again a little bit higher. Um, so it's a nice kind of twist. Let's do the same thing again, shooting from different angles. Um, bring the body right over to me, just as much as you can. More, 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 more. Let's kind of just work our way through the body as well. Let's kind of bring the hands just actually into here. Let's do the shots. So straight at me first. Uh, let's lower down uh, the head as much as we can. Keep it. Love it again. Lower the chin more, darling. Nice expression from Kelsey today. Very nice. Okay, so let's take this hand back to the leg. That's gorgeous there. Let's do it again. And roll away fully. And then looking back to me, darling. Can you turn that head around towards me more? That's lovely. It's there. Let's do it. Try and bring this hand just behind the head. Can you bring some of that light toward, uh, towards you? It's great to there. Let's do it. And again, a bit too high in the front, push that down. A little bit more. Grab some and wrap yourself in it. Wrap yourself as much as you can. Let's have a little look. I think I need to get the step, step stool out. Liking it, yeah, let's do it. D, D, D. Uh, I'm not absolutely convinced I need a full length image. Uh, if I did, I want to swap over to 24 to 105. Let's do the same shot first. Turn the nose this way, Kels, a little bit more light on the face. A little bit more if you can. It's great just there. It's pretty good. Move this part away from the face now and just bring some across the body. Yeah, try that's lovely. Just eyes closed looking down again. Keep it once more. Like that. 
Let's just come up above and shoot up. See what it's like first. Again, eyes closed here, darling. Keep it. It's lovely. Scoot the bum down that way a little bit more. Okay, just bring the hands closer to the, the top of the head. Turn the head around towards me more. It's gorgeous there, let's do it. Um, I think the face is just a little bit dark, okay? So let's just add in a pop of some light. Um, <clears throat> I, went, I went looking for my little mag light torch. Somebody emptied my drawers into a carrier bag. We won't say it's Brandon, okay? But it's Brandon. And I don't know where my mag light's gone to. Anyways, but this is just like a little cheap uh, light that I bought at um, kind of a service station, you know, when you fill it with fuel and it kind of buy this for $1.99. So that's all this is, all right? So I'm just gonna shoot it with a face on and face off. That's off, that's off. So there's the two images, that's on and that's off. So you can see already the color balance is wrong, but in the everyday photography, we can fix that color balance without any trouble. But because this is a, a more of a white light and they are a tungsten light, that's why it's looking a little bit blue. So um, really what I want this to do is to add in that kind of real almost mirror light effect. It's gorgeous there, keep it. Keep it. Oh, my focus is gone. Let's try again. Keep it. This set of stools is the best. <laughs> I think I've ever felt so secure on a stool. I like that a lot. Let's do the same shot without uh, the uh, light as well before I get carried away because I really like this one. Let's keep it. I'm just definitely going to shoot that whole shot let me just change the 24 to 105 now the biggest problem i got is that this 24 to 105 is a minimum of f4 so at this stage i have to slow the shutter speed down a little bit to a 60th to uh, kind of just give me that exposure better there we go that's great let's do it bring that knee right up high that's great just there let's do it again keep it look down towards my feet more Again, eyes closed. Straight at me now. Beautiful, like that. Spread the lights out a little bit more, can you? That's pretty cool. Try and edge over to me just a little bit. A little bit more. That up the nose would hurt. It's better, it's giving me that little bit more shape. Can just pull down some more around to the, towards the bottom of the bum. Bring it down more, more, more. That's it, better. Great, okay. Same shot, do it from above. Quick check. Zooming in it is. Let me just put this over my shoulder. So the lens is quite old, so it naturally zooms out. And obviously that's why I'm just hanging on to it. Remember we're that slightly under exposure. And as I bring it live again, um, it will, uh, in other words, if I bring it up lighter in the likes of post, the post-production, uh, it will start to kind of um, open up the grain. Same shot, one second. I do like that. I, I much prefer a prime lens. Do the same, same thing. Let's do that. Keep it, we'll just check it. Okay, do it. I'll just come closer. Eyes closed, please, Kelsey. It's lovely. Roll over, uh, come up to me just a little bit more. Let me just kind of change my camera position. I was a bit flat onto the body shape, so let's kind of move up to this level. Same thing again. 
bring this hand a curve at the bottom. That's lovely. This hand just to the neckline, just a touch. Turn the nose around towards me more. Keep it again. Keep it. I can't see it. Almost there. Quick test. Definitely need higher ladder. That's lovely. Like that. It's gorgeous. Let's go get changed into that other slip, can we?